you know? It's also like what you're taught when you're young. Because, like, take, for example, kids are very impressionable. And what a kid is taught through life is what they end up taking to them in adulthood, mm -hmm. you know? Mm. Like... And I think that, like, that that's fine as teaching, but... I, I still want to say, like, as a moral creature, as a human, I want to say that these things are truly wrong. And if someone disagrees with me, it's not like, oh, that's just your opinion. It's you are wrong, right? Like, you are incorrect. Depends on what it is. Because if, like, mm -hmm. okay, somebody says, like, yeah, uh, it's fine. Well, that's completely wrong. But if somebody says, like, hey, I think you know, this brand of chips is better than the other, mm -hmm. you know? It's I like, get that. That's just someone's opinion, you know? But right. I don't think morality should ever be boiled down to a brand of chips. It's it's like if I said, um, well, let's, let's change the analogy, right? There's a brand of chips that's poisonous, and then there's a brand of chips that's not poisonous. Um, which one should people eat? Well, you should eat the one that's not poisonous. It's not just right. merely someone's opinion, right? So... What we want to say, and this is why, like, um, you know, religion and, and God is such a, a good thing for people. It's that it gives people a way of grounding the morality that we want, right? And being able to practice the morality in laws um, such that it's not just our opinion, but actually um, it is going to a standard of goodness, like true goodness, that even if every human in the world messed up, like if every human in the world just decided to agree that pedophilia was okay, it would still be wrong. It, that would just be a very messed up world, right? So the idea is, even if human beings mess up, if every human being in society messed up, like because for a long time, um, transatlantic slavery, uh, not just indentured servitude, but slavery itself, the, the fact of owning a person qua owning, just, just for the sake of it, um, for a long time, that was considered correct. And right. Just because everyone in the world believed that slavery was fine does not make slavery okay. So kind of like pressure. If all your friends jump off a bridge, would you jump off a bridge? Exactly. But the point is, the reason why you're not jumping off the bridge is because in yourself, I think, there is something that you are appealing to. You may not right. perhaps necessarily know what you're appealing to, but as human beings, we all are having the ability... Um, to be able to appeal to this thing that no matter what our friend says, no matter what my teachers say, no matter what my parents say, no matter what society says, this thing is wrong or this thing is right. And I'm able to appeal to this higher standard than any human being in the planet to be able to determine my moral decisions. Now, what I call that, I call that the supreme good. I call that goodness right this thing that we appeal to and i don't think you're not able to appeal to it i think actually because you're a human you can appeal to it and you do it every day right right i think you do but my thing would also be that hey i believe that this supreme goodness has given us an ability to actually get better morally because no one in the world is perfect and neither is there anyone in the world that we should say is truly good because we're all capable of making mistakes so no one is truly good Jesus never jumps off the bridge, for example. However, we have the ability to be better, you know? And so that's what religion or Christianity, in my case, provides to you. Now, whether you accept or reject that will always be your own decision, right? And Christ will always be the bridge. He will always be the door waiting for you to accept that. If you don't want to accept it in this life, completely fine. But I have the feeling that even in the next life, if Christ was to come to you and offer his hand like this i think he would shake the hand me personally wait, wait. i don't know i have you. a question yeah yeah uh so what oh, you said in the next life so mm -hmm. life is a very as hindu belief the caste system you start off very something small let's say a fly and as when the fly dies you become something better like mm -hmm. let's say yeah, yeah, we don't believe you... in reincarnation right so what we say is is um, we have a temporal human life that starts off corrupted. So every single human being um, is born not just with the propensity for goodness and love, but also for the propensity to be able to sin. The power that we are able to use to do goodness is the same power that we use to do like evil and really morally wicked uh, stuff. That's kind of getting off track to what I was saying. I was like saying, do you think when we our next life or are we going to heaven? Yeah, so our next life is either heaven or hell in in mo in some people's instances, right? Uh, cases. So, right. 
for us, we say that the only way for us, so the way that it is, right, it, it's not just like our souls are like being decided when we die, but rather our souls are both being decided and they're being made, created. When we're born, every human being, no matter who you are, is already on the way to hell. Not because of anything bad that they did, but because the standard for goodness is so high. Right. And so what we say is actually innocence, right? Like say like an innocent baby dies. That's fine. They, they will experience the contemplation and blessed happiness and joy. Like there's nothing that's going to happen to them. But for moral creatures like ourselves that have the propensity to do badness, if we want to go into heaven, which is a place of perfection, all our imperfections need to be removed somehow. They all need to go, right? You can't have any, like, imagine if you had a, a bowl of water and then you put, like, one piece of, like, food coloring. The, the water will not be purely water. It would be, like, a bit discolored. So yeah. all of that stuff needs to be removed. It needs to be purified. And so what Christ says to us and what Christ offers to us is a way by which we can be perfected. And that starts now. Um, so by the time that we are in heaven, by the time even after death, we need to still be perfected, right? We are able to approach the gates in love and we are able to approach the gates in happiness and joy because we're now perfect because Christ perfected us. Now, that offer isn't only for those that are able to visibly accept him as all that enter heaven only enter heaven through Christ and being perfected. So even yourself, if by God's grace, God said, and this is what I do not know. But if by the grace of God, it was the case that you have been drawing closer to God, yet you weren't able to be baptized before you died or be able to, you know, experience the life of the church or experience Christ in confession of your salvation. But your heart was there. You were, you were trying to be, uh, your heart had the contrition to move towards that idea, right? Um, even after death, the grace of Christ is so strong that it can perfect you after you've died such right. that you may be able to be perfected to go into heaven. However, even if, for example, someone was a Christian for 90 years and they die, you know, and they were doing all these great moral actions, if in themselves they are actually morally depraved, as God will know, heaven is not for them, hell is for them. The, the suffering and the torment is for them. So that's never going to be a thing. But if you are in heaven, it's by the grace of God, as we've said. So that's why, that's why it's never necessarily like a, a done deal for you and even the dog is listening right which is very nice you know you have two of them wow fantastic uh, are both of them um therapy dogs or is one of them no, therapy dog? oh, okay the one so that that's why like um for me the religion is very loving you know right. um in that it does provide that goodness to all people and even if you are not necessarily in the visible body of the church you are still using the church's goodness you're right. being a human being, you're practicing what you think is morally right. And it is my hope that as you grow older and develop in your life and experience new things in your life, that you do consider the church again, you know, um, if you've never considered it before. And I'm not going to force that on you, but that would be, I would hate to not offer you that, you know. Um, if there's one thing you can do for me, just one thing, you don't have to, but just one thing. Um there is a thing in this Bible, right? This Bible was around, this Bible specifically 66 books. Other Bibles are like 73. But in this specific one, what I want you to do is I want you to read the Gospel of John. Just the Gospel of John. It's like 21 chapters. You don't have to read it just in your own time. Maybe you have an afternoon. You can sit down with your dogs and just read it. Um, and then, yeah, just, I don't know, find me again sometime if you ever do. And just be like, oh, hey, I read this thingy. Um, but yeah, uh, God bless you, man. Um, millions of people yes, all over well. the world um, are praying for you. This is my um, YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Sig. So find me there and just have a nice day, okay? Yeah, thank you. You have a great day. Thank you, man. God bless you. Yo, he was, he was sick, man. He was amazing, man. He was amazing. He was actually amazing. He was amazing. He was a oh. very good person. Hello. Oh, crap. He was a good person. He was a good person. Guys, on TikTok, make sure you follow me on YouTube and Kick. Okay. Hello, how you doing? That was a really good conversation. That was a really good conversation. W mans. W's in the chat. W's in the chat. W's in the chat. W's in the chat. I just want to sp spam W's now. Or you want to spam wood. Spam W's. 
Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and turn notifications on so that you can see the next upload. I am streaming on Kick as well on YouTube, so make sure you catch me at 6 p.m. And with that being said, have a better day than me.